Okay, we're on to uh, the buttons now. You already have an understanding of the buttons, especially as far as text is concerned, putting blocks behind and stuff. So now we're going to look at the buttons a little bit close, closer and show you. Right, if you go to Windows and then you go to Library, mine was already open so it's closed, there's my library, it gives me all, all, the, all the objects I've created gives me tweens, These are, this is the tween of this moving around this is the tween of this flying across and because we didn't turn them into objects they're not actually in there as as, as, obje as graphic objects, they're in there as tween graphic objects which means that they they will move you could double click on that and change the colour double click on that and I change the colour to a red and then I go back to my scene you'll see that these are now red so I've just gone in there and changed the colour, I haven't gone to each keyframe and changed the colour in there you can do it all from from that which is a good thing to know so the library is very very important but I've also got in here an about us button which is this one that I created which was a block but say I want to make another button with this I could just, you might think, hold the ALT key to duplicate it and drag and let go and then yeah I could, I could add a different action to that so in other words I can make it go to a different frame but I can't change the colour or anything independently of that because what will happen if I change the colour, the about us one which is this one will also change because it's one instant of the about us button let me just demonstrate, I'll go in here change the colour to a, a pinky colour if you look at the original now it's changed to a pinky colour so how do we create an instant of this that isn't related to to this instant here well it's quite easy if I just cut this now and go to the about us library right hand click select the about us button right hand click and duplicate and then I'm going to call this button 2 just for argument's sake now if I get this button and I, I've gone into the and I drag it into the frame now if I go into this and I change the colour that instant of the original button isn't changing because it's only affecting button 2 but other than that the properties are identical so this is a good way to duplicate duplicate a button and set different options to it now this is very important when you deal with something like text so if I make a text button now I call it button 1 then I selection tool convert to symbol button I'm not labeling it anything yet because this is just demoing it to you so you get the idea now button 2 has gone in there um, symbol 1 has gone in there that's why the importance of labeling so you know which is which but um, obviously if I duplicate that and I make a change it's still button 1 so I need to call it button 2 so what I do is I right hand I click in there left hand click in there click right hand click duplicate copy of symbol 1 drag it in here change it to button 2 go back to here and now I have button 1 or 2 1 and 2 both have the same properties because they're duplicates of each other the only thing I've changed is the type do be careful make sure you do change it enough if you've put a block under there which you always should um, I haven't because for speed but uh, if you put a block under there then and your lettering your text is less or more you'll need to expand the block so be aware of that but that's basically duplicating and creating buttons using the library uh, you'll use it all the time and you can see already I've only got six things in there but the things I've labeled are nice and clear um, the things I haven't labeled like symbol one and and symbol one copy um, if you've got loads of them in there and they're quite they look similar to each other they, they might not be uh, 
uh, it might be hard to find just labeling that so it's very important that you label them correctly okay that ends this lesson um, the next lesson I'm just going to get on to a little bit more and talk to you about workflow and how you should be working in flash and other programs that you'll be using to create much more professional finishes than just these flats I'll also be talking about vectors and uh, pixel pixels and how that can affect a flash file okay